In this video we're going to look at the expected values and variance for a function of x. So here we're told the value of um, e of x and var x and we're asked to find various um, different uh, values for functions of x. So here we have e of 2x. Now in order to uh, find the expected value for a function of x then you multiply um, e of x by whatever the coefficient of x is um, inside the function, so by 2. So uh, then we add or subtract any uh, number part of the function, but here there isn't any, so it's just 2 e of x, so it's 2 lots of 4, which then gives us a value of 8. And when we consider var x, it's slightly different. Now we need to remember that uh, the variance is a, a squared measure. So what actually happens here is it's going to be the coefficient of x squared multiplied by the variance of x. So this is therefore going to be 4 multiplied by 2 and so this gives us a variance of 8. If we look at uh, these next two examples we're going to go through the same procedure but it's a slightly more um, complicated function. So this one we can say is equal to 3 multiplied by our expected value of x because that's the coefficient of x here and then we're going to add 1. So 3 multiplied by 4 add 1 which then gives us a value of 13. Now this final one um, we can ignore the minus 5 here it's actually irrelevant and the reason it's irrelevant is because um, when we're looking at the variance we're looking at the spread of data so if we simply add or subtract values from um, from each of our, our values of x so um, that would be what would be described here in this function then um, it's not going to affect the way that those are distributed about the mean so actually here we just have 2 squared var x again which is then uh, 4 multiplied by 2 and so we have a variance of 8 again 